In this Dreamtime Sail episode, we get off the boat and show you why we consider Lady Musgrove Island one of Australia's most beautiful cruising destinations. We absolutely love the place. And in our galley, I whip up another batch of incredibly healthy but equally scrumptious granola that we enjoy for breakfast most mornings on our dream time. We've actually come off the boat and in on Lady Musgrove Island and we're going to go for a walk right around. <laughs> How long since you've actually been for a walk? Oh well for a walk it's been nine weeks so it's really going to be nice to stretch the legs. This self-isolation on the boat has, well it's felt like that I've done an ocean crossing really. Of course you had a fair bit of time at our uh, daughter's yeah. place recuperating I from a little bit of shoulder surgery. Yeah, so, and of course I didn't go out there because COVID-19 and hit in a big way. So anyway, here we are on Lady Musgrave. I'm really looking forward to seeing the wildlife today. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning weather, Rob. We've been so lucky to drag this. Let's go. Above the high tide mark, look at all the craters. What they are, old turtle nests. See turtles come up above the high tide, dig their hole in the sand, lay their eggs, refill it, and off they go. Then the hatchlings come out a couple of months later. Interior of Lady Musgrave Island. 
is just full of these trees that uh, late in the year become a nesting place. We have birds all the way through the trees and uh, others that nest in burrows on the ground. As beautiful as the island itself is, the attractions below the water in Lady Musgrove's Coral Lagoon are even more spectacular. From beautiful pastel sunrises to absolutely stunning sunsets viewed from an abandoned tourist pontoon, Lady Musgrove turned on an incredible display of colour every day during our stay. We have finally run out of the homemade granola that we love to have so much for breakfast on board. And it's a really simple recipe. Look, it's really not a recipe. It's what you love, throw into a bowl, add some coconut oil, add some honey, and give it a good toast, either into your oven or into a stovetop um, pot. If you love more coconut or you love more pecans or more dates, you just add what you like. Coconut. This coconut I've bought, bought in bulk from the source food stores and I cry back it so it stays nice and fresh. And then when I buy another lot, I will reuse the bags. melt down once we put it on the stove to toast and the same if you put it into your oven so I made up 
a batch of this 120 serves of natural fat are made up. So of course we haven't had it every morning and we've probably had bigger serves than what I <laughs> thought we would have. But yeah, it's lasted quite well and I cry backed it into um, about 20 serves per pack, which kept it nice and fresh for us. Right, so I've now just popped it into my enamel pot here on the stove and I'm just going to watch it and once it starts toasting you'll smell that beautiful nutty smell. I'll add some honey and then I'll let it cool completely and I'll package it up. As you're toasting it just keep stirring it just so that nothing catches on the base. Smells so good. So we've got to the final toasted stage, and now we add the luscious, luscious honey. Turned off the heat, and now I'll just mix that through so that everything is coated in the honey and I'll set it just to cool and occasionally I'll just pop up and with a fork I'll just separate it so that it doesn't become a hard lump. Now that it's slightly cooled I'm going to add in some cranberries, dried cranberries, some dried blueberries, We hope you enjoy this selection of some of the photographs we captured during our time at Lady Musgrove Island.
next time on Dreamtime Sail, we leave Lady Musgrave behind as we venture further north amongst the reefs and enjoy the fantastic delights of Great Keppel Island. And in our galley, I'll show you how simple it is to make beautiful looking, super tasty sushi rolls. Always a big hit at sundown. If you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us with YouTube to reach more people. If you also hit the bell button, you'll be notified each time we release a new episode. Come sail with us again soon.